Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of five features of Google's advanced search menu. So let's take a look at what we can do with this. Let's say I'm doing a very basic generic search about the War of 1812 for this example. And here we'll see I have 61.2 million results. So let's just take a look at some of the advanced search options we might use to narrow down the scope of this search just a little bit without even changing the search terms themselves. So first of all, let's go to this advanced search menu. And what I want to do here is I want to use the language option. So we'll see here under language, and I'm going to do a search in French. So we see there, find pages in the language you select. Now, bear in mind, I'm using Chrome, and Chrome is going to want to automatically translate pages for me. But that's okay. To that advanced search, now we have a different set of results. I haven't changed my search term at all, but the pages that appear at the top of our search results are different. And we might go here and take a look at this web page. And we'll see here, in this case, we're going to have uh, something from the National Film Board of Canada. And it's going to ask me if I want to translate the page. Right? And now, in this case, we're going to have this uh, movie that we could watch. Now, for the sake of comparison, let's change that up and go back to any language. And we'll see we have very different results and this page here doesn't rank anywhere on our first list of results and probably doesn't even show up anywhere on our second list of results it's nowhere at all so again just a simple way to mix up those results at the top let's do this search again and take a look at some other features so similar to changing the language, we're going to go into Settings, Advanced Search, and this time we're going to change the region. We're going to find pages published in a particular region, and let's go down here to Canada. And again, now we have a new set of results. This is coming from the WarMuseum.ca. We see some other ones here, WarMuseum.ca, WarOf1812.ca. Now, why would I change the region for my search results? Well, because I want pages from those regions to appear higher in the results so my students can get you know, a little different perspective, particularly on topics where the region or the country might interpret the history or the facts a little bit differently than your home region or country. Now I'm going to go back and start again. And let's take a look at filtering our results in these settings here. My advanced search, I want to go in and do site or domain. Now you can use any top level domain that you want. So for example, .ca is a top level domain for Canada. Or you could do something a little more granular than that. I might do something like .k12.me.us, which is a top-level domain for all schools in Maine. And now I have a very narrow list of results, just 115 results there. Now I can change that out, and I can do different state, .tx.us, and now I have results from schools in Texas, K-12 school, public K-12 schools in Texas. Now you can do that top level domain for any domain that you want. So you could limit it to .org, .edu, your state, or your country or region's top level domain. Let me go back and do this search one more time. And we're going to, this time, change up our search and do results filtered by file type. 
perhaps I want to find some Google Earth files about the War of 1812. So I'll select Google Earth, KMZ. Do my search. Oh, didn't find anything for KMZ, but it might find it for KML. And there it is. Now we have KML files for Google Earth. You can download those and open them in Google Earth. Now you may have noticed there in our advanced search, I could have selected PDFs, Excel, PowerPoint. Now I have PowerPoints about the War of 1812. Now, if we're doing something like PowerPoint, and maybe your students are doing a search for a PowerPoint file because they want to use it and modify it for a presentation they're doing or something you're doing in your classroom, it's useful to use the advanced search menu to not only select PowerPoint, but also usage rights, like free to use or share, or free to use or share or modify. Ah, and we didn't find anything that way. So let's go back into those settings. Do our advanced search. Free to use or share. And it didn't find anything. And I bring that up because sometimes our students will go and just grab the first PowerPoint file or the first thing they find online and think that they can reuse it in any way that they want. Now, of course, there's going to be some fair use exemptions for this or exceptions for this. But it is important to remind students about usage rights. And our last option here is we can refine our results according to date. We do my search War of 1812 and we'll just go into our tools say anytime and we have our default options of the past hour, 24 hours, week, month. Now these first four default options are great for events that are changing rapidly or news that's coming out rapidly about a topic. For something like the War of 1812, there's not a whole lot of groundbreaking new things coming out every 24 hours. So we might go in here to Custom Range and say we want to see anything that was published you know, between 2010-2013 and see how those results come up here. We can see some this day in history stuff. So those are five ways that you can use the advanced search menu in Google to refine and change your search results. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com.